What's happening guys, Brian Leyland here. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you haven't done so already, make sure to hit that subscribe button for weekly content on tech, tech reviews, gadgets, and even some Tesla content. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you love this video, find a friend to share it with. Now, let's talk about AirPods. If you own a smartphone, you're gonna want a solid set of earphones to watch videos, listen to music, etc. The wired ear pods that came with the iPhone are honestly a solid set of earphones. However, if you're like me and you can't stand wires, this presents a problem. Now, if you're on an iPhone like I am, one of the obvious choices are the Apple AirPods. But real quick side note, if you guys want to hear why I switched to iOS after almost a decade as an Android user, I'll link the video above. Make sure to take a look. Now for me, it didn't take long to decide that the AirPods were the earbuds that I wanted to go with, but I didn't have $129 laying around to spend on a new pair of earbuds. So I ended up buying a pair of first gen AirPods off of eBay for $66 shipping and all. Here's what happened. From the time that I won the auction, it took like nine or 10 days for the AirPods to get there. Now this seems pretty typical of eBay. Is this, you know, it's not like Amazon and it gets there, you know, the next day or so. As you can see, both the box and the AirPods have very obvious signs of wear as these are used, but nothing that interferes with the overall look and functionality of the product. Now, I know what you're probably thinking right now. Brian, why would you stick something that some rando stranger owned in your ears? And that's a fair question, and one you definitely should consider before deciding to buy a pair of used AirPods off of eBay. In the case of my AirPods, the seller made it very clear that he had thoroughly cleaned them before sending them to me. When I received them, they were very clean, but as you can imagine, I made sure to do my own thorough cleaning as well. And I can say after a month of use, I haven't gotten an ear infection yet, so that's great. Now, I'm gonna do a full review of these AirPods in a later video, but what I can tell you right now is that after a month of using them, so far, they do exactly what they're supposed to do, and they sound great. When I open up the case near my iPhone, I get a little pop-up because of the W1 chip, and once I place one of the earbuds in my ear, I hear a little chime indicating that the device is connected to my iPhone. And that's it. That's all I have to do to sync them up with my phone. Now, I mainly use my AirPods for two things. Number one, listening to music and watching videos on YouTube. And number two, is I use these day to day for work. Now, I cold call for a living, so my AirPods regularly get 60 to 70 calls per day on them. For playing music and watching videos, they're fine. They're not audiophile quality, but they sound really good, and they're exactly what I would expect for a $129 pair of AirPods, let alone one that was $66. The highs are very crisp, and the bass is very deep. Honestly, they sound like the EarPods that came with the iPhone. For actually making calls, I've never had anyone complain that they couldn't hear me, nor any issues on my end hearing them as well. So that brings us to the final question. Should you buy used AirPods off of eBay? Ultimately, you need to do your own due diligence on the specific pair that you plan on buying. But if the pair you're looking at is advertised as being in great condition and the seller's rating reflects a history of telling the truth, I would say go for it. You'll definitely end up saving a lot of money in the end. That's it for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way through. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button for weekly content on tech, gadget reviews, and even a little bit of Tesla content from time to time. Speaking of Tesla content, click here for my review video on the Model X Performance, also known as the P100D. You guys will love it. Thanks again for watching, guys, and until next time.